as I thought this was going to be a very slow process so this is a very short update the progress is slowed on finding batteries but I've got a few it's coming down to now I've just got some of these um, little connectors for the batteries another bag of them I think there's six or eight hundred in total so this is gonna be my first bank it's only gonna be a test I'm gonna do six positive negative positive negative positive negative and then run all the way down so it's gonna be ten deep six across and I'll make a 25.2 volt bank and then I'm gonna test it and see how it goes so I've still got what's that 9 10 11 12 13 14 more batteries because I haven't hooked that, that charger yet because I don't have all the stuff doing lots of little tests just teach myself how to wire it in and test it and um, yeah see how it all works hook that up to the computer works quite well um, the dead batteries I've worked out that if I put a 12 volt battery onto that for five seconds It'll put enough charge in that for the charger to recognise it and then it'll actually bring them back to life. Some don't get brought back to life, some cook. So it's a very dangerous process. So, I, they're, they're, they're six, they, uh, those four there, there's another two that were getting over 50 degrees, so they've gone in the bin. Actually, no they haven't, they're sitting here. Those two there, they were getting over 50 degrees, so they're going in the bin. Um, but those there didn't warm up at all. Um, accepted a charge and have kept a charge above 3.8 volts now for a couple of days. So I don't know if they're gonna be any good or not, but hey, look, it's, it's good for learning and trying. I've actually only got one little charger. So I'm back charging two batteries at a time and it's charging at 4.2 watts. And I've pulled 0.2 of a kilowatt hour and I've probably done about 20 of them. So it doesn't use much power. 